All right, for the tent, uh, what we're gonna do first is remove this weatherproof cover. Uh, now there's two types of buckles here. You have one, the bigger straps that go all the way across, and these, when you're installing it, you just pull up to cinch like that. So we're gonna just unbuckle that. And then these smaller buckles on the side, you can see how they go across that. So when you're tightening it, you're just really getting that uh, security across all of them. But for now, I've already unbuckled all the ones on the other side. And we're just gonna show you how to pull this whole thing off. So once you have everything unbuckled on all sides, um, feel free to, you know, you can grab on these if you want to, just as stability. But what we're gonna do is step up on this step, pull this off each corner, and then just kind of fold that into somewhat of a contained item and set that aside. And then we're gonna get back up here to undo this. So this is our 63, uh, the, the Free Spirit Recreation High Country 63. It's the larger of their versions. And up here, you just have a little rubber strap that's kind of loosely holding it in place. Uh, super intuitive to get that undone. And then the next step, you see the hinge of this ladder. So this will be facing on the driver's side. All you wanna do is grab this and pull it just so it's right kind of beyond your shoulders. At that point, you can kind of get out of the way, use that as a handle, step down, and then if you're tall enough, pull that all the way out, and then just use this as a lever to get the entire tent open. And hopefully you have more clearance in your campsite than we do in our showroom, but I think it'll open. All right. So you see right at that 90 point, I shifted from pulling down to actually pushing up. So now I'm just kind of guiding this down to the point where it touches the ground. And we're actually pretty even there right out of the gate. So you can see from the side, uh, the main support structure is already up and in place. All we really have to do here is get the rain fly up and then we'll be ready. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I actually do want this out a little bit more and let's see if I can get to a better position there. All right. So now when I climb up this, you have two shoe bags that kind of drop right down. And then your rain fly has basically just a little uh, push lock right in the corners, and you're just gonna pull that up until it clicks into place. All right, so you heard that on both sides. Okay, so once this rain fly opens, we have these supports now. So you can see this little U-shape, actually, if you just kind of keep it at its fully enclosed length, push that in place. Then it has a, a lock here. You just do the same right here. And then very similar to the awning, all you're doing is pulling that to tension and putting that lock in. And because this is the 63, this comes with two of them. And once you have that set in place, you are fully set up. All right, so once you have that set up, you are good to go. Uh, similar to the annex room, you have doors on all four sides. Uh, if you wanna climb up here and take a look inside, it's a lot of space. The sleepable area ends up at about 110 inches by 63 inches. So you got more than enough room for three or four kids up there. Uh, it really does expand the entire livable area of the escapade.